At 7, we end Newswatch 16 at 7 the same way we started it, with the Black Friday frenzy. And if you have a child on your shopping list, look no further than the Extreme Wall Climber. Its makers claim the race cars defied gravity. Kurt Aaron shows us if it really works. This is the Extreme Wall Climber from Sharper Image. We paid $29.99 for one of these racers at Boscov's in Scranton. These gravity-defying RC cars come with a tiny built-in vacuum that allows it to stick to walls and ceilings. Now you can have races that start on the floor and spread to walls and ceilings and even windows. Race it upside down and amaze your friends. The cars go forward and backwards and turn left and right. It works on a rechargeable battery and be can controlled from 45 feet away. But does it really work? To find out, we've come here, to Riverside Elementary East in Music. Mrs. Haggerty's third grade class is eager to try the new gravity-defying racers. We start by reading the directions and installing the batteries in the remote control. The cars run on rechargeable batteries that require about 30 minutes to fully charge. Once the batteries are installed and the cars are fully charged, it's time to start your engines. One thing we notice right away, these cars don't work on uneven surfaces. In order for the racer to run, it must be placed on a completely smooth surface. Once we do that, the cars start defying gravity. We race the cars on the ceilings, walls, and doors, and the hallways. The kids really like the cars, can't wait to take turns driving them. It is really cool seeing the cars appearing to defy gravity and run upside down. After a few minutes of racing, there are a few things we noticed. The cars drop to the ground a lot. That can cause damage to the cars. Also, when racing against someone, the controllers seem to overlap, and one person can control both cars at once. Just a few observations we made. But the kids love it. Is this something that you would like to see under the Christmas tree? Yes. Why? Because it's cool. Okay. And what's, what's so cool about it? It could go on the ceiling. And on the walls? Do you like this as a Christmas gift? Yes. You would? Okay, so look look into the camera and tell your mom and dad. I would like this for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> if that were my house on Christmas morning, it'd probably be broken in about two to three hours. But it is a really cool concept. Um, I've never seen anything like that before. It's really cool, but it's lightweight. Pieces break off, and you need a lot of space for it and the right surfaces. Needless to say, the kids all want it for Christmas, and they give it thumbs up.